welcome back. So, I figured I would start this video off by showing y'all an awesome deal that I just received. And honestly, when I ordered it, I was kind of like, wasn't sure what I was going to get. But, let me just read off what it is. And this is just if you're interested, okay? And this is also a great gift idea if you're looking for somebody special. So, it is the ultimate gift from Estee Lauder. And you get 10 full-size pieces plus a 3 Deluxe travel size. It's valued at $570. You pay $79 for this whole kit with any $45 purchase. And y'all know that my Estee Lauder Double Wear is my ride or die foundation. I absolutely loved it. I just happened to be in the market needing another bottle very soon. So I jumped on this deal. And in this deal, you get an eye makeup choice or a face makeup choice. And I think I must have made the face makeup choice with what I got. But I'm going to show you everything I got in this. Now, I have already used both of the lipsticks. You get two full-size lipsticks in this, and I've already used both of them. I have one of them on today. I absolutely love it. So, let me show you what you get, and I will have this link down below if you're interested in this. No, it is not sponsored. This is just me sharing with my girlfriends or any husbands out there looking for their wives something that might be you, you know, might be interested in. I was in the market for some different night creams and stuff to use on my face. I'd actually been like on Google trying to figure out what to get for my skin because as I'm aging, it's changing and I really didn't have a good skincare routine. Um, I always took care of my under eyes, but really nothing else. And I've started getting like dry patches and I'm oily and it's just weird. So <laughs> this just come at a perfect time. So I've been using it. I got my order in on Friday. Today is actually Monday and I've been using it since Friday. And y'all, I'm just in love with this eye cream. So let me show you what I get. First of all, they send you this cute little case. I mean, look at this case. Let me zip it up so you can see. You get this cute little case. How cute is that? Love it. So, I did not know you got that. I guess if I'd have paid attention to it, I would have realized that. But that was just a happy surprise for me because I did not pay attention to it. So, I went ahead and ordered my foundation, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in 2-in-1. This is my color. This is my foundation. I love it. Like I said, I was already needing it. Normally, I buy it on Amazon because it is a few dollars cheaper on Amazon and it's just easier to get it delivered. But since I was in the market and with everything else you got in this deal, I was like, let me just go ahead and get it from there. And yeah, so I got that. So what they sent me is I got this full size gentle eye makeup remover. You can see that. Full size of that. You get a full size jar of the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. And you can use this morning and night. I only use it at night because like I said, I'm already oily and mm, I just don't do it. Then you get a full size bottle of the Advanced Night Repair. And you get a full size bottle or jar of the Advanced Night Repair um, Supercharged Gel Eye Cream. Y'all, just this bottle alone or jar alone retails for $70. So, this right here, you basically paid for, and you got the rest for free. Not bad, huh? Okay, so then you get the travel size of the moisturizer, the eye gel, and the night, advanced night repair, which is perfect because I just threw them in my, um, my little overnight bag that I have kind of already packed for when we're going out of town. Okay, they also sent me this little, I don't know why, sample packet of the eye gel, which is fine, I'll use that. <laughs> and then for my face products, I got a full size tube of the mascara. I got this beautiful little palette. First of all, isn't it cute with the stars? And let's see. And then inside of it, 
This is what it looks like. You got your blush, your highlighter, and your bronzer. Y'all, I'm loving this bronzer. I've used it, I used it Saturday, and then I just used it again today. And I used the blush on Saturday, but it's a little bit too dark for me, but I did use it today. I used my normal blush, and then I just put a little bit of this blush up there. But that's what that looks like, okay? Then you get a full-size lip gloss with a little brush. It does not have the doe foot applicator. It actually has a little brush. You get a full-size red lip liner. I did not use this yet. And y'all, I'm sorry, but I did mess up the lipsticks because I did use them, but I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> um, this one is called, uh, what is it called? Intense Nude. I used this one on Saturday, but look at that. Look at how it has the snowflakes. Now, it did have that on the very top, but like I said, I've already used it. I used a lip brush, but it had a little snowflake on the top. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I used that. I really love this. This is going to be, this was a good deal. And then they sent me this one, which is called uh, Immortal. <laughs> I actually have this on today. And it has the same little snowflake design on it. But like I said, I've already used it because I use a lip brush. But, yes, I got all of this. I think I spent like $135 for all of this. And so far, I've tried this one time. I'll have to get back to you on this one. I'm not sure about the mascara. I'm kind of a mascara snob. And I haven't tried these two yet, the lip gloss and the lip liner. I'm not a big gloss fan, but I'm going to try it out. Who knows? might be nice just to have around the house. Um, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Like I said, I will link it down in the description box below if it's something you're interested in. I was really, really excited because, like I said, I was needing some, you know, some nighttime skincare. And that was just perfect timing. I swear our phones listen to us, y'all. I swear they do. But anyway. All right. So, what I'm going to do now, I've been up tidying up the house after the weekend. I do have to go out and run some errands. And I do have to work on my video that's going up on Wednesday of our House Through the Years, the Christmas edition. Y'all, I cannot believe all the changes. Oh, it's just amazing, but I'm actually giving myself inspiration with these videos because I'm kind of like seeing what I want to do this year, what I want to change, so it's kind of inspiring me a little bit, <laughs> not to sound conceited, but you know, I'm kind of inspired. I'm so excited for Christmas this year, but I don't want to overlook Thanksgiving, you know, so anyway, so let me get off of here and get to work on the video, go run my errands, and I'll catch up with y'all in just a little bit. Hey y'all, it is the same day I had to change my shirt. It is so hot outside. It is 80 degrees and the humidity is just so hot. So I was going to burn up in that long sleeve shirt. Even though it was thin, it's still hot. So anyway, Lester and I are out. We're going to go to the thrift store. I haven't been all weekend because I just did not feel like it. And I decided that today I was going to go because I am in the market for a couple things. And so... I'm looking for a few things, so we'll see. So if I find anything, of course I'll share it. Y'all just wish me luck. <laughs> you a buster, I swear you have the same look on your face. <laughs> so I guess y'all can see we come and had lunch with James. Well, we come to visit James while he has lunch. You gotta keep an eye out, Buster. Make sure nobody gets close to the car. Huh. <laughs> hey, y'all. I just got back home. I went to three thrift stores. I went to the little thrift store in Pascagoula where James works. And um, they, had, they had some stuff. But the things that I was interested in, <sighs> the prices were crazy. And I just... It wasn't, first of all, it wasn't anything that I had to have and I really didn't have anywhere for it. So it's kind of a good thing it was priced up more than what I was willing to pay. But then I went to my favorite thrift store and y'all, I walked around that thrift store about three times because I'm actually looking for a certain thing 
and um, I'm looking for a certain size silver platter and I know what I want. It's got to be a certain way and I haven't found it. It's got to be a certain size. It's got to be made a certain way on the edges and I haven't found it. And so I, they were steadily putting stuff out. So I just kept walking around the store and on the third time, y'all are not going to believe what I found. I cannot believe what I found. I never find this in my thrift stores ever. So, I, I just, anyway, let me just show you what I found. I'll save those items for last. Let me show you this first little item I found. This first item I found is this cute little heart. I'm pretty sure it's silver. I'm, I mean, I'm not real, real sure, but I just loved it. It was $2.99. Now, the inside needs to be cleaned out. And I've even considered maybe taking out... No, I probably won't take out the blue velvet, but it needs to be cleaned up. But I just loved this cute little trinket box. And for $2.99, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. I just thought it was so precious. I'm probably going to put it in my bedroom, probably in my armoire. I just loved it. Okay. The next things I found, mind blown. So, I was walking, I love the dishes aisle the aisles with the dish aisle, the aisle with the dishes. <laughs> and I spotted these. Look at all that crazing. And I was like, what? So it was $1.99. They had about four or five. And I pulled the sticker up. Let me just pull the sticker off to show y'all what the bottom says. Ironstone. I know, I never find this. So I picked out, I only got two. I really, I kind of have an idea where I'm gonna put it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I only got two and I picked out the ones that had like the cracks and the most crazing on it. I just, I love all of that. So I just picked up two. Excuse me, just now. let me see what Buster's doing. Buster, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't trust him, y'all. He's been having a few little accidents in the house. And um, there's no reason for it because we take him out anytime he wants to go out. Um, even if he's just went out and he wants to go back out again, we let him go out. So I'm having to keep a closer eye on him. And no, he's not sick. Everything's fine. Okay. Now this last item... I picked it up because I was thinking it might work in the place of the other tray that I wanted. And I just, I, yeah, I seen it, it caught my eye and I really liked it. And I picked it up and was looking at it. And when I flipped it over, let me tell you, it says Johnson Brothers Made in England Ironstone. I paid $7.99 for it. Um... I am going, my plans for this is, I'm going to put it, stand it up in the back of one of my bookcases. I love putting these platters in the backs of my bookcases because it just makes the items on the shelf pop. It's kind of like a 3D effect. And um, the one, the shelf, the highest up in my bookcase in the living room, it really needs something. My air just kicked on, it's so hot y'all. And I immediately thought of this because it's not going to work for what I wanted for what I wanted the other tray for. I'm having the hardest time talking today. <laughs> anyway, so I picked this up and I just could not believe it. But it's got some crazing. I don't know if y'all can see it because of the light. It's got some crazing, and then I love this little bead detail on the side. And I love Johnson Brothers. They have the most beautiful designs. So that is my thrift haul. Not too bad. I was beginning to think that it was not going to be a day where I was going to find anything. And then I found these things. So, I'm real excited about these items that I found. But, you just have to just walk around your thrift store two or three times. Because, especially when they're putting stuff out. Um, you just never know what you're going to find. You just never know. And, had I not went around that third time. And, I almost didn't do it. But, had I not went around that third time. I would have missed these cups and this platter. So, anyway, that is my thrift haul. 
I'm gonna go see if where I want to put the if I have any of the style and I will show you at the end of it where I've put it so that is going to do it for me for right now I've just got home and put my the chicken out I'm cooking chicken alfredo for dinner tonight that sounds so good don't it I've just been so hungry for something but I don't know what it is and this weekend is just, I have not gotten it. So I'm really, really hungry for something. So I'm really hoping that the chicken Alfredo is gonna, gonna do that for me. So anyway, I'll catch up with y'all just a little bit. Okay, I found places for my new items and I absolutely love that platter. I'm so glad I got it. I'm gonna show you where I put it. I'm gonna show you where I put the little cups and I'm gonna show you where I put the little trinket box, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it in there, but anyway, let me show you up at the platter. <gasps> Yay! Does that not look so good up there? I love it. It just brings so much light to that space up there and just really draws your eye up where you see that there's actually some pretty items up there. That little chicken thing come from Hobby Lobby and the bless i got for my birthday from cody and sarah a few years ago that candle's thrifted the teapot is thrifted those older books on the bottom are thrifted and then the top two paperbacks are actually the books my granny wrote so that's what's up there and i love it y'all and then over here i set my little mug uh, coffee cups with that platter or plate and that's an ironstone pitcher that my daughter bought me we found at a thrift store i think i pay like three or four dollars for it and those bells are thrifted that little chicken is thrifted right here that little um drawer come from hobby lobby and yeah i just love it right there love it so this is what that shelf looks like and then this is where i put the little trinket box right here so we'll see I don't know I'm not sure I like it there hmm now ladies back off he's mine no you cannot have him as a husband that takes his wife into consideration I wouldn't dirty another pair of socks what you heard me Say it again. You heard. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. What am I going to do with him? I guess it's sweet that he didn't dirty another pair of socks. So we're going to give him credit for that. But dinner was amazing. I loved it. I think that was what I wanted because it completely hit the spot. I'm satisfied. I'm not like, you know how when you eat and then you'll be like, that wasn't what I wanted. You want something else to eat. I don't feel that way. I feel totally satisfied, so I'm so grateful for that. Um, this time change. I mean, how are y'all dealing with it? Are y'all doing okay with it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I just wish they would leave it alone one way or the other. Just leave it alone. I prefer more daylight, but I kind of like the nighttime, like in the winter and the cozy, I don't know, anyway neither here nor there. I'm working on a thumbnail. Finishing, I'm gonna finish up this video and get it uploaded. And then I've almost got my Wednesday video finished. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so that's gonna be done. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Um, oh, I did wanna answer a couple questions. I've been going in the comment section of today's video. And I did want to answer a couple questions. Um, I had a question on how my finger's doing. Let me take this ring off and I'm gonna show y'all. My finger is doing so much better, thank God. So I'm gonna stride up. I still don't know what it was, what bit me or whatever, but I can't wear my original wedding band. Um, it's still a little too swollen for that, so I wear my other wedding ring. I got some questions about the light switch covers. Um, somebody was saying, like you can just get light switch covers anywhere. And then someone was saying, um, can't you just paint your light switch covers or your outlook covers? Yes, you can. The difference between the ones I purchased and painted that I love so much about them is, hold on, I'm gonna show you. These covers go over the complete outlet 
and all you have is the holes to plug your out, you know, your cord in. Other outlet covers, um, they have the little circles cut out, and this just covers the whole thing. Which I mean, this might not be a any mean anything to some people. I personally like it um, because it kind of disappears. And this is also a great alternative if you have ugly old yellow or stained up outlets and you don't want to spend the money or you don't know how to change the outlets, you can get these and cover it up and it'll look brand new. You don't have to paint them. You can leave them white if you want to. You don't have to do this at all. <laughs> this is just something I do. I just like the way it looks over um, the darker walls having the the outlet covers covered and you don't have that white outlet just, you know, sticking out. Um, and I just like to share things with y'all. I'm not trying to say y'all have to do this, that if you don't have this in your house and it's going to be tacky, that's not what I'm saying at all. I just was so excited when I found out about them. So I just wanted to share them with y'all in case y'all didn't know about it. So that's all it is. Um, but you could definitely, if you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to paint regular outlet covers, you can. You're still going to have the outlet part showing. I wouldn't paint that because I'd be scared paint would get down in there, but you know. I'm not going to tell y'all what to do. Y'all grown. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate y'all being here. Y'all are just the sweetest. I've tried to get back to all y'all's comments about this milestone that we've reached over 10,000. It's a little bit over 10,000 now, but I'm just so excited. You know, you're here. If you're here and you're subscribed, or you're watching this channel, you're not here by accident. I've said it all along that I pray about this channel and for God to bring the people into my life that he wants into my life at the time he wants them there and vice versa. So I'll praise and glory to God. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.